Hey, what is going on guys, Infernalish here, and today I'm going to be starting a brand new Let's Play series on my channel. Now, this series is, this is the first episode of this series, and this is not going to be just a normal, uh, Terraria Let's Play series. Now, what's new or different with this series is that I am going to be using a texture pack. The specific texture pack I'm going to be using is called the, Calam is, uh, a Calamity texture pack. If I can jump up here, that would be nice. But the specific, yeah, the specific uh, texture pack I'm going to be using is a Calamity texture pack. So in this series, you might see uh, ores, like that red ore down there. It looks kind of bugged out, though. It's going to be a, yeah, just a retextured thing to look like the Calamity, a Calamity ore. And as well as the bosses will be retextured to look like Calamity bosses. So, yeah, this is going to be a br cool series, and I hope you stick with me throughout this series. Now, if you do notice, this is in the 1.2.4 version of Terraria, so I won't be able to fight Moonlord, sadly. I've tried looking for a Calamity texture pack that was in 1.3 version of Terraria, but that's just not a thing. So, yeah, we're gonna have to just do it, play it in this version. Now, uh, if you- ooh, there's two chests in here, what are the chances of that? Uh, now, if you do want to get this texture pack for yourself, I have made a video on how to get it. So if you do want to end up getting this texture pack yourself, and you want to play it yourself, I will leave a notification in the top right of your screen for you to tap on if you want to watch that, as well as I will leave a link for that video in the description of this video. So go ahead and watch that if you want to be able to uh, get this texture pack yourself. Now, could you please like and subscribe to my channel? It really does help me out a lot, as well as if you want to join my discord server or if you want to join my subreddit which is fairly new uh both of those links will be in the description of this video okay so what i'm doing right now is i'm just kind of chopping down a bunch of trees i'm doing this because um i want to before i go and explore the whole world i want to uh get a little starter house built and completed so that way i will have a nice and safe place for me to stay at when it's nighttime or just whenever there's something dangerous or something, I will be able to just hide in my place. Now, one difficult thing that will be, uh, that I'll be coming across in this Let's Play series, since because there's a texture pack, it'll be hard to tell what items are what. And that's because, see this red ore? Uh, it's renamed as well and retextured, so I have no idea what ore that is. I'm guessing it's lead ore, but I have no idea. Yeah, see how it says, uh, chaotic or chaotic or material can be placed. I have no idea what or that is, so that may be a problem, and I will just have to get used to these, uh, new things, and, yeah. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, an aglet. Okay, that'll be helpful. I have any, okay, I think it's been auto equipment. Yeah. Uh, guarding, two, plus two defense. Okay, that'll be useful, actually. I'm just gonna, uh, take all these extra chests here, uh, might as well for a storage room that I might want to build later on into the future when I start building my base. So I'm gonna cut down, uh, some more trees, and I will be back with you in a little bit. Oh, here's our first enemy in this, uh, playthrough. It's a slime, but it's retextured as something else. Green, it's a green slime, and it's retextured to... Uh, look different. I guess the name hasn't changed on this enemy. I can't really jump up here. The water is, uh, making me not able to. But they can't attack me under this water, so I might as well just sit here and, uh, attack them like this. Okay, I see the background is getting slightly darker. What does the map look like here? I haven't really looked at it. Okay. I guess th I kind of want to build a base in between these two little sections here. That'd be a nice area. Let me chop down these, uh, let me just chop down three more trees right here. And then I'm going to go start building a base, because yes, as you can tell, it's getting a bit darker. Alright, so I have gotten those trees there. I'm going to make my way back to my the area where I want to build my house, not to my house. I wish I had a magic mirror. Maybe we'll find some of that later on in this episode. But what I'm wanting to uh, try and complete uh, later on in this episode is I want to maybe go uh, mining underground, maybe explore the surface, either one of those. I either want to go underground, see what's underground, or I want to try and uh, explore the surface. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Uh, maybe a bit of both, but we will see. 
So let's start, um, let me start building out my house. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'll start over here. Uh, maybe, how tall do I want this? I'll just go up to how high I can place. Oh gosh, I forgot in the 1.2.4 version, you can build way up higher than in the 1.3 version. And there's auto swing, which is nice. Uh, which you can also turn on in 1.3, but, yeah. Okay, I also want to have a wooden floor. But maybe I should have done this bef after uh, I built the surroundings of my house. Because yes, as you can see, it is getting a bit dark. So, yes, this may be a problem. I may have to fight some enemies off. So, what I'm thinking is uh, the first floor, I'm going to have all my crafting items. And the floors above it, I'm going to have uh, maybe like... Um, my NPCs and all that stuff, and I'm thinking of making maybe like a separate like shed thing for uh for like a chest storage room. Oh gosh, I really need to start making torches. Here, I'm gonna make some torches real fast. Oh gosh, look at this old crafting menu. If you remember, if you played in the old version, in the old 1.3 versions, uh, that would be nice. Oh, wait, I already have a magic mirror. Did I? I must have gotten that from one of those brown chests uh, at the start of the game. And I just didn't notice, I guess. Huh, that's nice. Okay, I did not mean to place torches like that. But okay. And I did not mean to zoom in. Man, these controls... I have to get used to them. I keep zooming in and out. Okay, here's our first zombie. Will he give us a zombie arm? That would be nice to have. A better melee weapon than this. It is not a very common drop, though. Nope, okay. Copper coins and gel. Okay, I think to here will be fine for now, so I'm gonna start building up the wall here. Uh, how high can I go? And it's so weird seeing how high I can build up in this version. Here, I'll, there's a block sticking out, I wanna get rid of that. If I'm able to. Can I get rid of you? I guess I can't get rid of you. Okay, yeah, there's gonna be zombies spawning in my house just because there's no background walls. And this sword is very bad. I wonder what the modifier is. I'm only doing one, two, three damage. Uh, what's the modifier? Okay, it has no modifier on it. That's fine. It's better than having something that's a, like, garbage modifier. Here, I'm just gonna place a block right here. Oh, demon eyes. Yep, I should have started building my house way earlier on than this, so this is not going very well. Taking, uh... Taking, uh, quite a bit amount of damage. I am half... About half health... Right, I'm gonna, I'm just building that little uh, wooden platform there so I can destroy these blocks because they are a bit a bit annoying. Yeah, these controls I'm gonna have to get a bit used to because there's only two joysticks. Sometimes I accidentally open the map. Uh, just the game thinks I'm trying to do that even though I'm not trying to do that. Oh, one torch is this torch is a bit lower than the other ones. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, move it up a bit. All right, can I place the roof from here? Yes, I am able to, just barely. If I aim my thing right there, I'm able to place the roof. So let's go ahead and place this along the top. Okay, so I finished the roof. Uh, I accidentally placed a block up there that's not in the right spot. So let me uh, get up here and destroy that. So I may have made this uh, a bit too tall. It does kind of look a bit too tall. Um, but that'll be, I guess that'll be fine. I'm going to want to place some background walls in. Oops, I did not mean to destroy this. I'm just trying to get rid of the grass here because it kind of kind of looks a bit bad. My bad. Did not mean to do that. Okay, let me fill in this spot here because I don't want to have just an empty floor. Okay, so let me uh, let me make a workbench right here. And I will place some uh, chairs and background walls uh, so the guide can move in and enemies won't spawn in here. So let me get a chair. Let me place you there. Um, now I can craft background walls. Uh, I'm just gonna make, like, maybe... Okay, yep, that should be enough, and might be even too much. Uh, dang it, I just remembered. In the 1.3 version, the smart cursor is way better. It'll actually, like, place the walls inside... Oops, that was a bad placement. It'll actually, like, place the walls inside the house in, like, a good... In, like, a good way, like, around you. It won't place outside the walls. But in this version, that just isn't a thing. Okay, there's a green slime here. So I'm going to have to uh, place all of these walls manually. So I guess I will be right back to you once I have finished placing all of these walls in here. 
Alright, so I have finished placing the background walls inside of here. As you can see on the left side, I accidentally placed some walls outside the house. But I don't have a hammer on me at the moment, so we will, uh, I will just probably remove that some later time. But, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to want to, uh, instead of going underground inside of caves and stuff, I'm thinking of maybe just exploring the surface, find where my jungle biome's at, find if I have either crimson or corruption biome, uh, and do all of that stuff, maybe find some surface chests, and yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do those things after I make me two doors for my house. Man, for my uh, my hot bar, I only have five items, which is a bit annoying because in the 1.3 version, I have, uh, you get uh, like 10 or something. I don't remember the exact amount, but you get quite a bit more, and I only have five here, so yeah. Oh, I actually have two magic mirrors, that's interesting. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go out, uh, let's go f find some stuff on the surface. I'll have my healing potions, magic mirror if I need that as well. So, I'm gonna go explore the right side of my world. Okay, so for this series, I'm thinking of each videos, I don't want to make them too long, so I'm thinking maybe each videos will, uh, arrange from 8 minutes to maybe, uh... Maybe uh, 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe at most, may possibly might be able, I might be, uh, I might make a video that is over 15 minutes at some points if there's something special going on, uh, but for the most part, uh, expect these videos to be between 8 minutes and 15 minutes. Okay, so I actually see a chest down here, let's see what's in here. Oh, I got a spear. Okay, that is, uh, that should be, uh, better than my sword, right? Uh, that does 8 damage, it's strong, so extra knockback, 5 damage, yes. I'm gonna use this spear instead of my sword. Actually, let me collect this chest as well. Okay. I don't know what that red ore is. I'm guessing it's probably lead or iron. It's the equivalent to that, but I, I'm completely unsure about that. Man, there's a lot of these little, uh, cave things here. Like these, uh, surface, uh, things. As you can see, there's one there, one here... And then there's two more. Like, there's quite a bit. Okay, so we actually have found our desert on this side. Am I able to climb that? No. Okay, I have rope. I'm gonna swap that out for my healing potions. Rope is very helpful. Except for it's kind of hard to place. Okay, so let's climb up here if I am able to. Alright, we made it up. Let's see, uh, let's see if we get a desert temple. Uh, or pyramid, or whatever you want to call it. But in the 1.2.4 version, there isn't any desert caves, so I won't be able to explore any desert caves, so really the only thing that I can explore uh, in the desert is just the uh, a pyramid or desert temple, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if I find one of those, uh, that'd be nice. Oh, okay. Looks like the end of our uh, desert is right over here. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, this, uh, this world size... This is a large world, the largest world. They're in Mobile 1.2.4, you can... I don't know, what was hitting me? In Mobile 1.2.4, you can only make two world sizes, just small and large, so... Yeah. This is the largest size. And these vultures are uh, dealing lots of damage, but... It looks like my jungle is over here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to explore this. Man, there's three vultures on me. Uh, because the jungle is quite strong. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but get these guys out of here. Die, die, die. Okay, am I able to climb this? No, I have to place a rope. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna explore the jungle. We know what side it's on now. And the jungle is going to be way too strong without any further armor or, uh, even, uh, life crystals that I have found. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explore more to the left side of my world. And yeah, as you can see, uh, these starter episodes are probably going to be a bit slow, like everyone's playthroughs for Terraria. The start of the game is normally pretty slow, so bear with me here. The first few, maybe the first couple Let's Play videos on this series are going to be a bit slower. Uh, this will be the slowest episode just because uh, I'm just like building a house, exploring the surface, so there's not really a lot going on. So I hope you stick around and stay with me throughout this series. And this gold, or this blue slime has a piece of gold ore inside of him. I will take that. Three gold ore for free. Now, I don't know what this red ore is, but I think I'm probably going to mine it anyways. 
and I'm just gonna assume that's a letter iron. Uh, so, another blue slime, he has nothing inside of him. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bunny. And that blue slime's gone. And it is getting a bit dark out, but I'm going to explore anyways. And we have another desert on this side of the world. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let me get my rope out. Let me build up here. If the Can you place, game? Can you place the rope? Okay, there we go. I guess it doesn't like it when I'm jumping and trying to place stuff mid-air, but I, I don't know what's happening. Alright, we've made it up anyways. Let's continue our path on the left side of the world. Oh, look at this. We got a, a desert. So, first thing, uh, first uh, action, I, not really action pack, but I mean, you know what I mean. The first thing that is actually going to have possibly good items in it. I'm hoping for either a sandstorm in a bottle or a magic carpet. I want one of those. Okay, and it seems to go down more after this. Uh, let me break all these uh, pots and let me collect these money bags. Uh, silver, gold. How much gold did I get? Four gold? That's an okay amount, I'd say. Let's see. And, oh, come on. Okay, we got the worst thing here. The Pharaoh's outfit. I don't even want to have this equipped. It's just vanity, not armor. Uh, it doesn't even look that good in my opinion, so that sucks that we got the worst item that we could possibly get out of here. But let's hope there's going to be some more rooms. Oh, and I guess there is not going to be more rooms. It leads to an underground ice biome right there. And it is becoming nighttime. And there is a snow biome on the left side of our desert. I want to I want to keep exploring a bit more inside of the snow biome. Uh, depending on how hard it gets at nighttime, like how many enemies are going to be spawning, I may magic mirror, but I, as of now, I'm just going to keep going to the left. And so, oh, and we have a snow crimson biome. So, yes, I am going to magic mirror from here. So, yeah. Now we know, uh, on the left side of our world, uh, oh crap, if I can get up. On the left side of our world... Uh, we have a snow biome, desert biome, and crimson biome. So we have crimson in our world, uh, which is nice. I kind of prefer the crimson biome, to be honest. But yeah, and on the right side of our world, we have found the jungle biome, a desert biome, and yeah, that's pretty much how much we found on here. So I think this is going to be pretty much the end of the video for now. Uh... What we have gotten is we've gotten a aglet, which increases our movement speed, and it's guarding, so we have two extra defense, a uh, spear, and uh, all these other items here. Now, for the next episode, uh, maybe I want to go uh, mining underground, find a bunch of taverns, and get get a bunch of ores, and maybe, and yeah, I want to get uh, one, some type of armor, and maybe, maybe even fight the Ive Cthulhu, possibly, or that could be the third, uh, third video of this series. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. That really does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it for all of you who do that, as well as if you want to join my, my, uh, Discord server or my subreddit, I will leave the links for those in the description of this video. But anyways, that will be it, and goodbye.